right, guys, we are back for another uh, Dragon Ball Super Manga review. Um, been doing these lately, um, especially because it does seem like we are going to be leading into the anime returning and stuff like that. And uh, I definitely did enjoy doing a lot of uh, sort of like coverage of the Dragon Ball Super anime back when it was airing on TV and spoilers and stuff like that. Um, the manga for me, I mean, it's always... There's stuff that's very good about the manga. I think Toyotaro does the action very, very well. I, I think it looks great a lot of times, the fighting. I mean, Toyotaro does probably overdo it with the callbacks. Every chapter, you get, like, 80 references to, like, original Dragon Ball Z fights, right? Um, but it often does look very good. Now, I, it, you know, it is funny. I remember when the uh, Moro arc was going on. Towards the start of it, it was like, oh, my God, like this is really good. Like, okay, okay, hold on. Dragon Ball, we're looking good here. Um, and then it did just kind of feel like it went off the rails. I don't know, towards the end. When, once it gets animated, we'll see. I assume that, like, you know, these manga chapters are not going to be one-to-one -one in the anime, right? I feel like there's going to be a lot of differences um, once these actually do get animated. But the Granola arc, I, actually, I do feel like it's kind of the same thing where it starts out. And, like, I liked it at first. I do like Granola. I, I think Granola's a fine character. But then they bring in this this dude, Gas. I I would have to argue Gas is the worst villain in Dragon Ball history. I mean, who are we... Can so it's like, 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 is Gas better than Bio Broly? I mean, I, Bio Broly is just a sludge monster. I mean, I guess I would probably put Gas above Bio Broly. But, like... Bio Broly, at least at the start, is Broly. He's like a clone of Broly, and then he becomes a sludge monster, right? Like, you know, Gas is just, like, not... Uh, I don't think Gas is interesting. I, I mean, I guess, like, as he sort of, like, transforms stuff like that, like, his hair is cool. Like, he, he's he got, like, um, I guess sort of like a Predator aesthetic going on, right? Like, for the, the Predator movies, I guess. Um, But I, I just don't really find... Gas, like, it's just... I'm not like, super interested, right? I really like Zamasu. I love Jiren back in the day. I was one of the only people that really, like, well, okay, Jiren at first, everyone liked, because he wasn't saying anything, and he was, uh, like, a, a force of nature, and it was, it was interesting, because we didn't know anything about him. Once Jiren started to get a little chatty towards the end of the turn of power, that's when people turned on him, and a lot of people pretend like Jiren was horrible, even though when it was going on, it was, Jiren was very, very exciting, right? Um, Zamasu, of course, was great, uh, Hit, I think, is great. Hit is really awesome. I guess the one thing that is good is that a lot of these villains are quite different, right? Like, Moro, Goku Black, and Jiren don't have too much in common, right? Like, they're all very different, unique characters. So, I, I definitely could say that's good for these villains. Now, this arc at the end here, I, I, I don't know. Vegeta getting Ultra Ego, I think, is awesome. So now we have this thing going on where it's like all these characters, like, rather than like, okay, like, Gohan unlocks Super Saiyan 2, and then, oh, Vegeta and Goku unlock Super Saiyan 2 as well, right? Like, that's the next sort of, like, like pathway everyone's taken. It's like, all right, Goku got UI. Now Vegeta's got Ultra Ego. Now Gohan has Gohan Beast. Now Piccolo has Orange Piccolo, right? Like, these characters are sort of going down, like, their own, like, pathways, rather than just, like, sticking to, like, a universal, like, all right, now we're into Super Saiyan Max or some shit like that, right? So, I mean, that's good. I I, I still want to see what they do with this new Ultra Instinct, like, form Goku is using here. Um, and this is new. It, it's, this is something, I feel like in the, like, when this is animated, we probably could tell a little bit better. But, like, if you look at this at a glance, you just say, oh, Goku is just, he's using Ultra Instinct sign, right? That's what he's doing here. But that, that's not what this is. Um, and they did come out and clarify that right here, right? So we have this. So Goku's Ultra Instinct. So when Gas was about to finish Vegeta off, Goku rescued him, and then he manifested Ultra Instinct in his black-haired state. So what it's saying is, Goku, again, this is not UI sign. It's essentially like, like mastered UI, but it's like applying his emotions with, like the again, the white-haired mastered version. Goku had finally awoken the true Ultra Instinct. His power overwhelmed Gas, the greatest warrior in the universe, by knocking him to the ground with one mighty blow. So, it's like the Dragon Ball official site right here, uh, it, they're outright telling us that it's it, it's a new form, right? Like, this this is not um, 
Ultra Instinct sign because I saw so many people talking about this, right? Like, like on Twitter, like, oh, it's not actually a different form, blah, 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 blah. Like, it's just Ultra Instinct sign. Like, people thought that there, it was, like, a, a fan name, that this true Ultra Instinct. But no, like, this is... Uh, nah, this is it. Like, this is, a new, this is another new form. So, Goku has Ultra Instinct sign. We have Ultra Instinct. And now we have true Ultra Instinct. Again, just sort of continuing down that pathway like that. Um, it's like, I, I guess it's not really too surprising, right? So, it's like, Goku, you know, white-haired Ultra Instinct. He was the most powerful... Uh, you know, Gohan Beast has white hair, so now Goku, his strongest transformation, no longer has white hair, right? So, there we go. So, alright, um, so, this manga chapter, uh, I mean, again, the action is great, like always, I, I, I think the fighting is really, really good. Um, I will say that I continue to be, I, I like Alec right here. This, I, I mean, as, this is like the end of the fight, but we'll, we'll see what's gonna happen, because... Alec, to me, is the, the best of the sort of the antagonists of this arc. Uh, just, I really like, like, the sense of control Alec has. Like, he just, he feels like he knows more than, like, everyone else around. I, I don't know, I, I do kind of like that, right? Even though Alec is not as powerful as the other characters. Like, he's actually got stuff going on. Um, I don't know if, like, the manga is now going to continue to follow him. If he'll come back later or what's going to happen, Right. I presume gas is done because we know that when granola had the wish made, um, it shortened his lifespan. And like gas is literally has dialogue here saying shit. Like every cell in my body is like burning power, right? Like, yeah, like, like gas, it's obvious that his time is incredibly limited, especially since, you know, uh, the dragon made granola the strongest in the universe and then immediately, gas was then made the strongest in the universe. So, the price gas had to pay, I assume, would have been higher than the price granola had to pay. Because there's, you know, granola now exists that the dragon has to put gas in front of, right? Um, and this makes sense why Goku, uh, for the most part, is able to hold his own, right? Until the ending portion of this fight in his true Ultra Instinct. Because the way it works is the dragon made the wish, and then at that moment, Gas is the strongest in the universe. But then Goku sort of awakens to his, you know, new strongest version of Ultra Instinct right here, which, again, I'll be very curious to see how they animate this. I would not be shocked if Goku had some sort of different aura or something like that Um, in this true Ultra Instinct. that That is what my assumption is going to be, right? Because, like, they know what they're doing, right? Like, these companies it, it's like dragon ball like all this the anime the movies the manga it's it's vehicles for merch sales right dragon ball is a merchandise like killer so it's like they're gonna make sure that once like merch comes out for these characters that this goku is gonna be like different from ui sign because again th this is not ui sign goku so eventually granola comes back in um again i i do like granola uh, coming back in, and, you know, we basically just get kind of, like, a long standoff here, where they kind of just, like, do battle, and then eventually, like, Granola is able to finish it off. Um, I don't know, oh, okay, I guess, I guess we should talk about Goku. So, he goes into normal, like, mastered UI right there, and then he creates the Susano UI Goku, like, manifestation thing. He does this against Moro as well. I presume we can say that this is just Goku's ultimate attack at this point. Although, again, we see that he uses this in just, like, mastered UI, right? This is not this is not true Ultra Instinct. He's just in, like, regular UI again. So, it's like, there's just 80... Well, I guess I, then now he's got black hair right here. So, it's, it's hard to say, right? Like, but I... Okay. I do really like this. I think that this, like giant manifestation of ultra instinct power is very cool to me like i do not dislike this power that goku keeps busting out right here um i guess it's a little bit sort of a buzz kill that it's like that's <clears throat> kind of what he uses to finish off moro and then now like he basically just uses it to finish off gas it's like all right it's, it's goku just gonna use it to finish off the next villain like it's almost like possible to me i don't know um Overall, I mean, the chapter was good, I think, because of the fighting. I just am telling y'all right now, I need more explanation 
on true ultra instinct like for sure and like the, the, that's it like like they beat gas the fight is done granola said he doesn't want more um revenge right but true ultra instinct i, I need this i want to see like we talk about it or something like that because it, it definitely is this is something that's just going to be very i would say controversial in the community i feel like um, again, Ultra Ego is cool. I, I do like Goku and Vegeta, like, you know, them fighting together and stuff like that was very good. We'll see what's gonna happen with Granola. I imagine Granola, after this arc, is probably not going to participate in battles and stuff like that. Remember that his lifespan was limited to, I believe it was two years, right? He, he only has two years left, um, on his lifespan. So, it's like, you know, by the time, you know, the end of Dragon Ball Z was about to happen... Like, you know, like, Granola's out of here, so he probably is not going to have too much um, time to do stuff. I wouldn't be shocked if, like, they brought him back at some point, like, you know, for, like, a, a fight or something like that. But, I mean, they still, Broly's just been sitting out there for a while, and they've still never used him, right? Like, I mean, because it, it, the way it goes is Tournament of Power, Broly movie, Moro, now Granola, right? So this is essentially two arcs, and then Dragon Ball Super Superhero is supposed to take place after the granola arc, right? So, um, you know, it, Broly does show up in that, but he doesn't do anything. So it's now several arcs where Broly has done nothing. Um, it's several arcs where Frieza has done nothing, too. Like, Frieza... Like, like Dragon Ball Super... Like, what are they... They're trying to create, like, a really extended universe or something here. Maybe they realize <clears throat> how moronic their decision was. What did Supreme Kai say? Like... 14 planets with mortal life or whatever stupid line the dumbest thing they've ever done in dragon ball ever is supreme kai's line during the tournament of power they use that as an excuse for why the entire team universe 7 team is from earth but like it's it's still asinine right it's just like literally the moro arc seems to like go directly against supreme kai's statement right where moro arc shows a wide variety of planets and stuff like it's ridiculous um, so, it's like, I guess they want to expand, so, like, you know, Freeze is out there doing shit, Broly and Chilai and Lemo are out there playing around, now Granola is going to be out there, I assume Alec is going to be out there, right, so, like, they're just kind of, like, adding a lot more characters around the various corners of the universe, which I guess could be good, um, but we will see, so let me know what you guys think of it, um, I do like this manga chapter overall, I would say, because, I mean, it's mostly just action, um, typically when these Dragon Ball Super manga chapters are just the fighting, it, it, I think they're pretty good. Um, again, gas could certainly be a little bit more interesting. I remember being really, like, intrigued when, like, Moro went into, like, his ultra instinct, like, angel mode after he absorbed Mirus's power, right? Um, I certainly, when gas is like, oh, I'm burning every cell in my body, I did not get that that same feeling that Ultra Instinct Moro gave me, right? I definitely would say that, so. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the manga chapter. Seems as though the fight is over. We'll see what the next manga arc looks like. Hopefully it's better. Um, it's like, dude, I, I just, this Granola arc, I feel like the Moro arc was way better than the Granola arc, for sure. Um, so, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.